okay, honey, you have to be quick because I only have, I have one bar, only one bar. Gosh, I wish we had, we had a connection here where I could charge my phone. I completely forgot my charger, completely forgot. And my computer, I cannot even charge it. I, uh, it's empty. All right, honey, hello? Gosh, it's dead. Mm. Well, I guess we'll resolve that today. We're gonna put some mid-continent chargers on the Baron. I won't have that issue again. bit of rain now but it's okay the plane is inside uh, working on the uh, USB port and uh, charging connection as well as the artificial horizon let's go see what uh, what's going on in uh, the Baron right now at Sarasota Avionics moving uh, the panel here so we can access behind a little challenge with uh, the table oh. yeah the, the rib nut is spinning the rib nut is spinning okay on the back side i'm sure we'll figure it out and let's go see up front I'll leave it hanging right there <laughs> awesome now we just need to find if it has power on the other side of that wire and then i'll turn on power it looks like it's uh yeah turn it on ready yeah yeah 25 volts wow so that's Indeed. it that's what we needed sweet right. Good i'll make a ground back there Annie. we can make a plate for them so so today we're moving the hobs and we'll put a new artificial horizon right here from mid-continent. We had a uh, hobs meter here before um, and it's going to go back to its original location. So we'll see that coming in very soon. We could have taken this unit out, but we needed to have an EA100, and it would have been a lot more work. So keeping it simple and safe, instead of opening a Pandora box, we're just gonna keep it simple and add this beautiful mid-continent artificial horizon right here. Got a little bit of rain now, but it's okay. The plane is inside, uh, working on the USB port and uh, charging connection as well as the artificial horizon.
back in the hangar here in uh, Venice at Sarasota Avionics, day two. Uh, we are still working on little tweaks here and there. We're gonna be mounting those uh, awesome uh, chargers from Mid-Continent and as well as the new attitude indicator. So we should be finishing uh, everything today. We'll be using this connection here that was the uh, lighter connection obviously we're we're not using that and that's where the table is set up so we'll have one charger here and the other charger on the other side gonna be like so and here we're almost done the mount and the unit is installed for the new attitude indicator this one here we cannot um, we cannot let it go it's tied in with everything and with our autopilot so for now we're gonna keep this one just need uh, some wiring and uh, we'll be all set BAM this one is finished complete installed now we'll move on to the charging units in the back. Very nice. Now paint them. Mm -hmm. To make it look like it belongs to that wall. Yeah. Very nice. Nice job on the painting. Look. Oh. Oh. Customized to match our interior. Make sure that. What's that? Everything is measured properly. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That's super cool. So when you see that they're working, there's a little blue light. So when the master is on, it's showing a blue light. And now the master is off. All we need to do now is getting the interior back in. Let me show you the wiring room where all the magic happens before everything is installed. done the attitude indicator I'll show that to you later but also I want to talk to you about these awesome charging station from mid-continent how awesome are those yeah, the USB C and A got three watts of power uh, we have to check those we'll 60 put this watts in the of power I yes believe. it's uh, going to be able to charge and maintain your uh, laptop as well as your iPad iPhone anything you've got that needs to let yeah yeah that's pretty exciting you know, you could either you could either charge a laptop. Let me make sure that it's 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 actually blue, so that's a good sign. Yeah, you sign. can see it at night. So if you're flying at night, that's what it is. So you don't have to fumble around and look for the actual charge. Exactly. So passengers at night, if they're flying at night, they need to get a good charge on their phone. Um, that's easy to do. As well as you know, if I'm flying with cameras with GoPros, right. I can you know wire those chargers all so, the way here so, so run out of battery during flight yeah any of you who are filming your flights that's a great option as well let me just see that's a oh, beautiful yeah. thing <laughs> yeah we like that sound that's yeah, a good sound. good sound yeah so let's talk about the attitude indicator that we installed on the plane uh, with mid-continent uh, we uh, ran into uh, a little little problem. So problem. we uh, we noticed that your Century 41 autopilot uses your vacuum horizon as reference. Mm -hmm. So at that point, there's a couple different options we could have gone, and and so we've discussed that highly with Valerie. What we could do now, uh, we could have either gone with the EA100 from Aspen. Uh, so we're in discussions with them on uh, we could put that in there, and that would give reference to the autopilot. And then we kind of came up, well, how about a new autopilot? 
So we haven't made that full decision which way Valerie wants to go with the, uh, so we can put the autopilot or do the A100 and keep the existing autopilot. So that's a big decision that Valerie's got to, got to him and her and Eric's got to come up with and decide what they want to do and, and uh, I'll say, you know, what do you think? Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a hard it's decision. A no, it's a hard decision. You know, it's definitely a big jump. It's, uh, it's an investment. So. Um, I don't see you getting rid of this plane anytime. No, right? I don't think. I don't think. Those IO IO five fifty scream too much. Don't yeah, you? It's yeah. got fast little airplanes. Yeah, so. yeah. It's, it's either which way, it's a, it's gonna, it's a, you know, it's, it's going to add value either which way to your aircraft. So. Absolutely. Yeah, I love how it looks. But we got to keep the vacuum system because she has the boots. Right? Yes, we have the boots on the plane. So if there's ice uh, that we're flying into, right. Um, you know, we need to make sure that uh, we have those, those boots working. Sure. There's no other way to um, get those boots um, but, the, but the Mid-Continent Horizon will, uh, so if you do decide to do the EA-100, or if you do decide to, to do the autopilot, that Mid-Continent will be there for your backup, so mm -hmm. no matter what. Yeah, no matter what. Yeah. So. yeah. Great work. It's awesome. Another touch that uh, I was super happy with was uh, with uh, Joe. Yeah, and interior, our, our interior guy here, local yes. at Cersei Avionics, he actually come up with the idea to put these in little, uh, actually they're holders for mic and phone jacks, and we adapted them to put the USB ports. Genius yeah, idea. Yeah, it's a great idea, and it, it, it makes it uh, ergonomical, makes it uh, easy to find and easy to see and, and easy to plug into. You don't have to do in a weird awkward position yeah. to plug the USB in. Yeah, actually that, that turned out perfectly. Yeah. And uh, he also matched those the, the exactly color. the color of yeah. the leather that we have Impressive. in the plane. Yeah, yeah, very happy. Great job. Oh, no, good. Good, Always uh, a good pleasure. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.